Hello folks, this is uh, question number 11 of 2018, October, November, paper 1-3, recent exam. So it's uh, concerned with the viscous force or viscosity. It says that a rigid hollow sphere, hollow means fill with air, is immersed deep in water and released from rest. So if I have uh, the diagram of water vessel like this, like this, I have this hollow sphere here and released from rest. So it means that initially the velocity is zero initially the velocity is zero so that means that that means in the very beginning we can uh, disqualify these uh, two of them because they say that initially the, the the body has some velocity it experiences an upthrust uh, which propels it towards the surface of water so it's a resultant movement movement like this which graph best shows the variation with time t of its upward velocity v so we have to find the uh, the way <coughs> the velocity changes let's remember that in the very beginning since the body is hollow since the body is hollow we have upthrust force here and we have we have we have the weight here in the very beginning i must have this upthrust force is more than w Be because if had they been equal or had they been the reverse the body could not have risen through the through the liquid through the liquid or let us say through water now when it comes up when it comes up another force also arises which is the viscous force because viscous force becomes active when the body moves so when it moves uh, up moves up at that time we have w here we have this upthrust also here upthrust also here and now we have another force called as the viscous force viscous force this is upthrust and this is w it means that the resultant force will be decreasing Initially, the resultant was Fu minus W. Now, the resultant is Fu minus W minus Fv. So, here it is Fu minus W equal to F resultant. And here we have got F resultant is equal to Fu minus W minus Fv minus Fv. So, it means that the resultant force decreases. When it comes up, the resultant force decreases which means decrease in acceleration because a equal to f r s by mass so as time goes by the acceleration should decrease the main theme is that the acceleration should decrease now in case of vt graph a means the gradient of of v t graph now we have to search for that graph in which this gradient is decreasing we have to search for that graph where the gradient is decreasing and that is definitely 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 choice number a so in choice number a the gradient of the graph is decreasing which means a is decreasing and which means the resultant force is decreasing but here it's the same so that's why our correct choice should be choice number a and b disqualifies